what's Police Academy? I don't know. It's like six movies with uh, Steve Gutenberg. Install ARC device in the passenger seat. Well, I guess I'm not going to be picking up any shorties on the way. Sorry, you got to sit in the back. I got the damn police scanner in the passenger seat. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to Got a corked up little station wagon here? Get first aid kits from the locker. Me when I'm Dave Hester on Storage Wars. Me when I'm opening the locker. <laughs> to get first aid kits. Me, when I'm scanning the locker to see what's in it. It's a first aid station. Me, opening... I'm stupid. I'm stupid? First aid kit, zero of three. This is not the locker. That's a good point. <laughs> oh, that's a good point, man. That's a good point. You got me there. Oh, that's... Me, when... Uh... Someone in my auto body shop dies of a heart attack because we keep our defibrillator right next to the oily rags. Store items for your drive in the car trunk. Okay, easy. Cardboard boxes. If you'll do me a favor, I'm going to put the scrapper in there. What else do you need me to put in there? Road flare first aid kit and fuel cans. Road flares. First, well, you know what? You can only stack three at a time. Noted. Fuel can. First aid kit. Pick up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. Holy cow. Pick up the impact hammer blueprint by the front garage door. Use the pump to fill the fuel tank. And by the end of this, I'm going to have like an associate's degree in bodywork. They're literally giving gas away. What is this, like, March 2020? Remember when oil was negative money? <laughs> Sorry. Can I, can I put this, I'd like to put this back, please? I'll just toss it right there. Should have invested. I'll fill your tank, too, that makes sense. Thank you for the, the heads up, that's very intelligent. Did anybody, uh, I feel like we should have a Netflix movie about that. Did anybody go and purchase like a thousand barrels of oil at negative nine dollars per barrel and then sell it back in February 2022 when it spiked to like ninety dollars a barrel? You need somewhere to store them? Yeah, well, like, you know, it's Texas, bro, right? It was like West Texas crude. West Texas, it gotta have land, right? You had to take physical ownership to turn a profit? Surely you could have gotten like a, you know, like a, a warehouse or a, like a WeWork or something like that. <laughs> I'm not talking about buying a million barrels, okay? I'm talking about like a thousand barrels. You buy a thousand barrels at negative nine dollars a barrel. You hold them in a WeWork. For two years, you sell it back February 2022 for $100 a barrel. What is it? It's like a, an error, like not a number return on profit, right? You got paid to buy it and you got paid to sell it. Nobody wants to WeWork these days. 
That is damn true, though. I am the angry pumpkin. So true. The TikTok where I, the clip that I pushed to TikTok where I ask Chibli if he's seen the angry pumpkin video and then he says, no, but let's exhaust your dialogue options. Yeah, I've seen it. It, it has like a, maybe 80,000 views, which is pretty big for me on TikTok. But all of the replies, literally you can go look at the comments. I'll do the, the research for you here, librarian. 90% of the replies just say ES viewer. ES viewer, ES viewer, yeah, 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 yeah. ES viewer, ES viewer. <laughs> What does it mean? I think it means that it found its way on the Spanish TikTok, bro. Select destination using map on the wall. This is the zone. Within these borders, Slay the spire spotted. The Three hours what to drive to damp forest. Me figuring out where we're going to camp this summer in grass, British Columbia. You should go to the San Juan Islands. Brother, I'm just hoping to get a chance to check out Lunch Lady at some point. San Juan Islands? I ain't say never been to Puerto Rico. I know they're in the Juan de Fuca Strait here. I'm just Joe. I'm just, I'm just yapping. Come camp in Victoria? So last year, this is probably just bad luck, but last year we camped at uh, a site called China Beach, which is in, it's on Vancouver Island, maybe like an hour outside of Victoria. Um, and it was the middle of July, and at night it got down to like six degrees Celsius in July. Uh, and I said, we're never doing this shit again in my entire life. You're telling me July is too cold to camp? Like the first night we were in the tent, like all huddled up together in our sleeping bags for warmth. And then the second night, by the way, pad of tea, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. The second night, Kate and my daughter slept in the car and I tried to sleep in the car, but I just couldn't get like comfortable in the seat. So I went to sleep in the tent by myself and I was freezing my ass off. And then, you know, it's like, you don't know what time it is when you wake up in your tent. So you're like hearing like, <sighs> and you're like little like tree branches are like scraping up against the tent and stuff. And you're like, maybe I'm about to get eaten. No, I didn't get eaten. We had great campsite uh, discipline. Like we, we put all our food away. We put all the food scraps in like the locked garbage bin and some stuff like that. Then like two weeks later, they had to kill a bear at the campsite because a bear wandered into the campsite and started like rooting around in people's stuff. I don't know when it gets warm enough to camp on Van like Vancouver Island or like no disrespect, but in the middle of July... My ass is not bringing like a winter coat to go camping. I'm not bringing swimming trunks and like a Canada goose jacket. It's just not sensible. I got better things to do with my time. So I think we're going to stay on the, on the province proper. Yes, I would like to select this destination. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Okay, we finally gotten ourselves to the point where <laughs> I, I can drive again. I can drive again. If I could just figure out how to get into the car. <laughs> yes! Can you, okay, you close the door on me? I appreciate that. Let's make sure we turn this son of a gun on. Put it in drive keep the MF and thing on me. The police officer, 35 seconds before he gives me a $300 ticket for distracted driving, be like, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, 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 be
I've never gotten a ticket for distracted driving. I just wanted to make the bit work. I've actually never been pulled over at all. I have received two tickets in my life. Both of them were for some combination of underage drinking or open container, but I've never, I've never been pulled over while driving. Hello, Sips. Sips, thank you for the raid. Sips, can I, I, I don't know if you're here for the raid or if it's just your audience. Let me Google something, okay? Orlando Bloom's second in command, Kingdom of Heaven. I was watching this on the Peloton about a month ago. Kingdom of Heaven, Jerusalem scene. There is an actor in Kingdom of Heaven who I honestly think <laughs> is this is really the best picture I could find. There's an actor in Kingdom of Heaven who I think is your doppelganger, okay? Save as a WebP file? What is wrong with you, dude? No, I don't want to save it as a WebP. Okay, hang on. Save image as sips.png. I already have a sips.jpg. <laughs> Add image. Sips. Browse images. Downloads. Sips. Now, this was the best image I could find. This is Orlando Bloom on the left. No disrespect. I don't think I know anybody who looks like Orlando Bloom. But this dude right here, this is not the best scene, like the, the, the most focused image of this individual you, ever, you will ever see. But this guy looks just like you, dude. <laughs> what pixel is he supposed to be? He's in here, man. He's in here, okay? He's, there are scenes, by the way, where he's in focus. Let me see if I can like find one. Like, he is a speaking part. He probably has, like, like up to ten lines in the movie. It's just tough to find a picture, because, like, there's just a thousand horny pictures of, like, Eva Green. I get it. <laughs> Kingdom of Heaven, by the way, pretty good movie. I believe I gave it three and a half stars and a heart on Letterboxd. I shouldn't have, what have, what have I done? Close this menu, please. Clo no, don't remove this. Close, close the menu. Close it with the enter key. With the backspace? With the escape? Let me out of my inventory, bro! Never mind, we're chilling. Director's cut is a four. Yeah, Disney Plus didn't have the director's cut, unfortunately. Damp forest, outer zone. Manual, your car is your shield. That's the way a lot of motherfuckers be driving out there for sure. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are literally so plasma. True. <laughs> Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay. If you say so. Find and scan a plasma generator. I'm going to guess that it's this thing right here. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Ridley Scott's directed uh, Nomad Land 2. This is a scene from that. If you'll excuse me, let's put this bitch in park. And then escape from the vehicle. I would like to scan this plasma generator, please. Recommended tool, uh, impact like hammer. Right for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Well, you guys haven't seen Nomad Land 2? Did you see the the tweet that was like, um, not every movie is a good fit for YouTube movie critics, and it was all the like movie YouTuber thumbnails for the zone of interest. Is like the dude's cartoon avatar, like the darkest movie I've ever seen. 
And then there was the one with the, someone quote tweeted and replied that was like past lives, the most cucked movie A24 has ever made. <laughs> It's so... I, I kind of love the internet, man. It's so good. And then someone replied to that, and it was like a blurry, fake screenshot of Ant-Man and uh, uh, Greta Lee from Past Lives, and it says, Past Lives, you, I need you to distract Thanos. Just relax, okay? I'm building a bit, Tobias. Okay, to, to do list, add impact to hammer. Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, Hello to you, Oppie, I need you to distract Thanos. I saw the tweet, it was poor things. There is two. Go, go look at the replies to the poor things post. There was poor things, I need you to distract Kang. And then in the replies, there was past lives. I think it was in Spanish though. It was like past lives, I need you to distract Kang. Okay, I'm going to pin this to my checklist, if you don't mind. You can't pin things to your checklist anymore because of woke, allegedly. I'm hearing that from a lot of podcasts lately. Search structures and scrap cars to find crafting materials on your list, okay? This is a structure, last time I checked. Backpack? This is fabric. Fabric, I need you to distract <laughs> past lives. <laughs> what happened to my shirt, bro? I thought there were two shirts in here. Somebody turned out the dang lights. There you go. Can you stack these up too? Oh my gosh, you can you can stack those up, I'll guarantee you that. You can stack these up. I'm rich, bro. Is this what Bellingham is like? I'm going to be honest with you. The answer to that is kind of. But after the art teachers feud last week, I'm not in a position to be making enemies, okay? You're fighting the battle on two fronts. I just want everybody to get along, okay? Hang on, I got a bunch of scrap metal in my hands. Hey, uh, uh, driver, I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Oh, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep Five t-shirts? I'll keep to the basics, I promise. There's got to be a joke about that. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... I had a great idea. I'm not going to do this, but I had a great idea for a, um, a gimmick TikTok account, okay? I'm not going to do it. You have my license to take this joke if, if nobody else has done it before, okay? So there's all these TikTok accounts that where people will like leave a comment that's like, take an outfit that you like, but make it plaid. Take an outfit with sweat sh uh, sweatpants, but make it business casual. And then they always do like a shh, 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 and they always look swag, right? You do exactly that. You play it straight the whole time. But the end result of every outfit that you do is a green graphic tee with a Zelda Triforce on it and the khaki shorts. Preferably with as many pockets on the khaki shorts as possible. So it'd be like, hey, take a, take a business outfit but make it suitable for like a, a day at the beach. And then just go, no matter how many things you do, it just always ends with the Zelda Triforce and the khaki shorts. Do I have the materials yet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll go search this structure real quick. You just described what my coworker wears every day? And I love that for him? It's been like 20 years since that was in fashion for 15 year olds, which means it should be coming back now as far as I'm concerned. You might say it'll never come back. You may be right. Admittedly, you may be right. 
You just transfer with the space bar, huh? Good to know. Um, but also, there's a lot of things that came back that I never thought would come back. I never thought center part Jonathan Taylor Thomas hair would come back. I never thought mullets would come back. I never thought mustaches would come back. I never thought baggy pants would come back. I never thought round glasses would come back. I mean, if you were born in 1988, you lived through like the first wave of all this stuff, and then you lived through it getting the shit kicked out of it for like 15 years afterwards. And then it came back, man. And it, when it, five years before it came back, I was like, these look stupid. When it came back, I was like, people are fucking slaying in the round glasses, bro. Like it, it, it messes with your brain. It's probably driving people insane to watch me manually organize my inventory for no reason. Mullets are not back. They're kind of back. I mean, I wouldn't rock one. It's not my cup of tea. But you see them now and then. I'm not the arbiter of like what's cool and what's not. Assemble an impact hammer and the required gears using the craft mat. Impact hammer. Here's the thing, brother. I don't have the gears. So I gotta go, I gotta make gears first. With scrap metal. Give me two gears, please. Then we go to impact hammer. I've played Minecraft before. Holy cow, look at this. Smash plasma generators for materials. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Holy. Are you also a plasma generator? No, you are a sodium vapor light. Well, see if I care. Maybe we drive some more to find another one? There's a lot going on here, man. No, it's here. <laughs> you sure? I'm sorry, I didn't put this in gear. Why is a sodium vapor lamp blue? So true, it should be salt. Oh, there we go. You know what's crazy? Is that if you're good at using your gear shift, I'm gonna back it up a little bit. If you're good at using your gear shift, um, you actually don't need to ever touch your brakes. You just use uh, momentum to slow down, and then you put your car into park. Just jam it in the park. You ever parallel park, parallel double park that mother fricker sideways? Yeah, you know, I've been known to. I've been known to. I still don't really know what double parking is. I think that double parking sometimes, it's confusing, right? Isn't double parking when you take up two parking spots? I.e., like, you park, but the back half of your car is, like, over the parking meter? No, that is not double parking. I thought double parking was like when you parked on the meter instead of in front or behind it. Double parking is when you block someone in. You know, I didn't know that. Parking too wide on the side of the street. I only have 40% health left, bro. I think I might need to go back. I think you were right. There was one more plasma generator back there somewhere. 
one of the things that bothers me the most when uh, driving, and I don't, I, I, it's so easy to just be like, these are like Vancouver exclusive bits, but I'm sure it happens everywhere. I only know that it happens here. When all the street parking in front of a business is occupied, then someone is like, I need to go to this business. So they just park in the lane of traffic and put their four ways on. Like, no disrespect, but do we have like law enforcement anymore? Like it shouldn't, if, if I'm seeing this shit like once a week, shouldn't I be seeing someone giving out a ticket like once every six months or something like that? Like what, they're literally just blocking the road and not even for like a good reason, like a protest. <laughs> they're just like, I got to pick up my dry cleaning, but all the parking spots are full. You go to the next block and you park and then you walk back. Okay, hang on. I need to pick up the other plasma generator. That's double parking. You know what? I've, I've probably learned it before, but it's good to learn it again. I always thought double parking was because, or was when someone parked. Hey, what, what the hell is going on in there, bro? Hello, my friend. I thought double parking was when you park. And you know, like with every parking meter, there's like a spot in front of it and a spot behind it. I thought it was um, when you park in such a way that your car takes up both spots. Or at least keeps someone else from being able to, to use the other spot. Maybe there's no word for that. That's double parking, but a, a different kind. Oh, okay. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. I need you to be on the lookout for a plasma generator, please. Perhaps inside of here. That's what I think about that shit. <laughs> if you feed both meters, it's okay. So I, I took my daughter to a class this weekend. The class is short. Uh, so there was no real way for me to do anything. So I just sat in the car. Uh, I was on the meter. I paid... Uh, it was probably like $1.50 for 70 minutes of parking. I said, this is the cheapest real estate you're ever going to find in this city. I was just chilling in the car waiting for my kid. I saw maybe four to six people park on the same block. Not a single person. And may, to be fair, maybe they went inside of the business, paid for parking on their phone. But I didn't see a single person pay for parking. I'm Maybe this is one of my most boomer takes. I think I'm the only motherfucker keeping the city going. I'm going by the honor system. I'm paying for the parking on my phone. Everybody else is just winging it, bro. Private lot or city lot? City lot. Private lot, I pay, but I really don't give a shit. Like, Easy Park can suck me, as far as I'm concerned. But the city, like, I kind of want them to, you know, keep things moving. <laughs> for the most part. Where's this plasma generator, bro? When I went to Queens, I got a ticket after like 30 minutes of my parking being expired. Listen, oil thigh in the Banrigan, the Banrigan KA. We all bleed the tricolor together. That being said, that one's on you, okay? I hate this. My personal thinking, 
if you're within 10 minutes of the meter going off, uh, then that's a, a dickhead move for them to give you a ticket. You know, things happen. But 30 minutes, you should have you should have fed the meter, if possible. Okay, I, th there's no plasma generator here. I'm stuck, bro. I was in the wrong, but I was surprised. That's fair. I can understand. I mean, I, I've gotten parking tickets before. I'm always mad about it, but like, I'm always like, yeah, you got me. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> I did not pay for the parking, and you gave me a ticket. That's the, that's the cost of doing business. Did you pay the ticket? I always pay the city tickets. Any tips on beating the beast for the first time? Are you, are you in an M. Night Shyamalan movie right now, librarian? The beast. The beast. Isaac? I didn't even remember that that was in the game, honestly. With God as my witness. He is on the trivia game show. If you'll excuse me. Take the long way home. But I still think parking sucks so much that they should just invent a car that folds up into a briefcase that you can carry inside of like your office or a store with you. I think that would be sick. Like a bike? Here's the thing, cyclists. My wife left me. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Here's the thing, cyclists. I would love to be able to bike everywhere. I'm on your side. I don't know why people think I love cars, even though I said driving owns and I talk about driving all the time and I never bike outside. The thing is, like, I would love to bike everywhere. I just don't want to get hit by a car and killed. And, like, even if you're the most cautious cyclist of all time, like, it happens. I know I could get hit by a car in my car and die, but at least I'm covered in like steel and, and plexiglass or whatever. But like, I see it all the time. People will just be like biking, like minding their own business. And then some dude like won't check his blind spot and will like almost crash into the cyclist. And you're like, well, you know, I, I literally like almost saw someone die. They didn't even do anything wrong. That's true. I guess you could, like, bike in a suit of armor or something. And they double park their bikes. I'm sure if everyone biked, like, it would be great for, like, a couple weeks, and then I would just get pissed off with cyclists. I would be like, you ever notice you're trying to get somewhere, and then these motherfuckers are on, like, a pleasure cruise going so slow? Like, hey, buddy, I'm trying to get to the grocery store. And then you're, like, driving to the grocery store on your bike, and somebody passes by you really fast and goes on your left. Okay, Lance Armstrong, it's not the Tour de France. I'm just trying to pick up some oat milk. Another plasma generator. Okay, chill here, chill here. It is annoying when they buzz you, though. Don't I know it, brother? My ass just trying to enjoy a nice walk on the seawall. Meanwhile, Floyd Landis is going by me trying to get king of the mountain in, like, foot in boot square. Like, fucking chill out, bro. You got people eating gelato on the sidewalk. This shit is not the Giro d'Italia. I know just enough about a cy uh, cycling to make, like, a real insult. Hey, where's my first aid kit? <laughs> I would like to use it, because I've been... I just got stung by lightning. It's 
Just wait a moment. Ninety percent HP. I don't think I've had that in real life since I was like seventeen. Can't hit what you can't see, brother. Did you see those dodges? Did you see those dodges? Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Also, like. Another reason I don't bike on the road, or don't bike on the road much at least, is because I think that like, I'm too self-conscious that if I was slowing down traffic, I don't have the strength of conviction to basically be like, fuck everyone behind me. You know, I'm fixated on like social order and making sure ev I'm not getting in anybody's way. If my ass had to be in like the center of the lane, even if I was biking like 30 kilometers an hour, if there were cars behind me that wanted to go 40, I would be like, fuck, fuck, I'll just pull over to the sidewalk and wait. I don't think I got the cojones for it. I think you need to be like a true fuck cars believer. I respect it, honestly. It's your right to drive on the road. Now, I don't understand like why you're riding your bike on 10th when there's like two lanes of traffic in each direction that are going fast, it's your right. But if you just go two blocks south, you go to 12th, it's unidirectional car traffic and then like a huge bike lane and it literally runs parallel. But I'm just saying so you're exercising your charter rights. I appreciate that. Just me personally, I would rather bike on 12th than 10th. But don't let me tell you how to live your life, okay? Hang on, I'm locating the radio station. Why do you only look left? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you, I, don't, I mean, because the, the forest is here, bro. Why do I need to look to the right? British viewers be like, what the fuck you mean you never look to the right when you're driving? Skirt, skirt. How do you feel about parents with kids on the back of their bike? It scares me. Um, I think it's like, it's nice. And I've, I've only seen it backfire like one time when the dad turned too fast and then the trailer in the back jackknife and the kid went skidding across the sidewalk <laughs> but like for me personally like I'm a reasonably confident cyclist and I still don't feel comfortable doing it like maybe it's too risk averse but anything can happen like I could crash my tire could pop I could get hit by a car it's just like it's too much for me just for me personally was the kid okay? Yeah, they were chilling. I don't think the parents are being like irresponsible. It's just like, it's beyond my level of risk tolerance. You're the most risk averse person that's ever lived. That's definitely false. I own equities. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. DL Guiga told me that if he was a streamer, 100% of his net worth would be in fixed income. I'm 80-20, bro. Take a look at my arc device display. It's the only one I've got. Return to the auto shop. Okay. All right. This this is my exit, or do I go back to the starting point? That's an awfully hot 
auto shop. I should probably go to the road, huh? Locate and drive to an anchor site. Oh, an anchor site. All right, one second. One second. Anchor site. View map legend. Anchor site. Okay. How about this one? Sounds good to me. NL will never know the days before UMG took 20% of music off of TikTok. Excuse me. I got my TikTok account in January of 2020. I'm pretty sure that made me like the fifth Canadian on the website. There were like four trad moms and me posting Fall Guys clips. <laughs> oh no! This ain't the damn road! And then one trad mom posting Fall Guys clips. You see that mom on, uh, I think she's on either TikTok or Instagram. And her thing is like, her kid will like, his kid, her kid is like two or something like that. She'll ask for cereal, or he'll ask for cereal, and she'll like hand make her own cereal. Lady, can you just chill out? No disrespect, like, I, I'm, I'm not saying it's, you're not within your rights to do it. But, like, you know you can get a box of Cheerios for, like, $3.99? It's not hard, though. It's pretty hard. She was, like, taking... It was, like, baking oats and then cutting them into circles and then, like, putting honey on top of them and then baking them again and then, like... It would, it was a ton of work, bro. It comes out of the factory as like a perfect circle. I'm just saying the kid is probably going catabolic at that point, right? Um, Pacific Drive, did you just grab the glowy orb that's emitting radiation? Pacific Drive, I need you to distract Kang. Feed the anchor into the arc device. Feed the anchor into the arc device. What happened to the anchor, bro? Oh, <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> Sorry, my inventory's full? Okay, well, freaking, I don't know, you probably don't need to be holding, like, 19 t-shirts in your backpack, I suppose. Like, don't let me tell you how to live your life. Can I hold it in my hands, please? Pop this bad boy down in there. Select the gateway coordinates on the map. I just saw a video of that mom. She made her own custom Fruit Loops. It's crazy, bro. More power to you. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm not making my own, like, baby bell cheeses, okay? And the rent is too damn high. Exactly. You left the door open? It's uh, aerodynamic. Like it's like a wing. He's squeebing. So true, Bruno Mars. I'ma leave the door open. Tell me, are you coming through? May I? 
I'd like to select this gateway. Gateway too close. What do you mean gateway too close? I got here I got here too fast. Just the other night she was gripping on me tight, screaming Hercules. I will say Kate and I had Korean barbecue yesterday. I had a I had a beautiful experience at dinner. I ate a lot of meat. When the bill came, I said, that's very expensive. And it got me thinking how stupid I am. How could Korean barbecue not be expensive? They're giving you good cuts of meat. I, and then I started to imagine what like a budget Korean barbecue restaurant would look like. And I just pictured them coming out with like slices of like, you know, lunch ham and stuff like that. And like throwing a bunch of ground beef onto the damn charcoal grill in front of you <laughs> gateway too close oh my god you're so high maintenance That bologna with the noodles in it. You keep bude jige out your mouth. You know why? Because I think it's disgusting, personally. That's just my two cents. I'm not trying to say it shouldn't exist. I'm not trying to say it's not valid. All right, if, hey, one second, I gotta drive. You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by- Soul in Surrey goes pretty crazy for the price. We weren't in Surrey. I don't know. It was, I mean, I just... I've come to accept that if you want to feast at Korean barbecue, it's going to cost you like almost the same that it would cost you at a steakhouse. The catch is you have to cook your own meat, but you're going to get like three times more than you would at a steakhouse. But you have to cook it yourself. Which is fine. I think they, they, they both have their place. The head is soaring! <laughs> My run took... Took me 34 minutes to go 4 miles. What is this? Couch to 5k? That's actually not... That's like perfectly respectable. You should just... I mean, you gotta take the exercise at your own level. Post your mile time. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, there have been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. I just got back from Seoul. I pronounced Bude Jige the way you do, and everyone corrected me. Well, first off, motherfucker, my ass does not speak Korean. So that's not, like, a surprise, for one. But secondly, that shit used to happen to me, like, all the time in Korea. Like, even Seoul. You'd be like, I'm going to Seoul. And people would be like, it's not Seoul, it's Seoul. And you're like, sol, and they're like, no, 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 not like that. Then you'd say it exactly the same way. You go, sol, and they go, yeah, that's it. That's perfect. <laughs> I know, it's like one of my, sorry, I've just got to pause the dialogue. It's one of my favorite stories from my time living in Korea, where I, I got off of a train in Daegu, and I lived close to uh, Siji was the name of the neighborhood. And there was an e-mart there. So whenever I would get in a taxi, I would say CG Imata Juseo, which just is like bad Korean for take me to the CG Mart. I remember one time I got in a taxi and I said CG Imat Juseo. And the guy was went, CG, CG Imat, CG, CG Imata Juseo, CG. And he was like, ah, I got it. And then he took me on like a 40 minute drive to a part of the city I'd never seen before and dropped me off at a different e-mart. And he was basically, I don't know what he was saying and that's my fault, but he was basically like, here you go. And I was like, CG e-mart, CG e-mart. And he was like confused. And then he went, oh, CG e -mart. And I was like, <laughs> Yes, Shiji Imata. Because <laughs> the S and the I sometimes have like an H or always have an H. It's, I, my, my friend has the exact same story, but it's from Quebec, where he was at McDonald's and he ordered breakfast and they asked him what drink he wanted. 
and he said orange juice, and they went like, qua? And he went orange juice, and they said like, I don't know what you're saying, buddy. And he said orange juice, and they went, oh, juice d'orange. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, wow, it's Campbell. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. I'm not saying that we are in the right, by the way, for not speaking the language, but you're like, really? I messed up like one syllable? Bro, there's two emarts. There's one in CG and one in Susongu. Bro heard CG emart and said, I'm taking his ass to Susongu. Come on, man. Also, the other one that I get, I, I get corrected on all the time, Samjang. Samjang. Uh, Samjang, do you say yo? Ah, it's not, it's not Samjang. It's not Samjang. It's Samjang. Shit starts with two S's. And one of them is not silent, apparently. Samjang. And the thing that always gets me is I say, like, Samjang. And they go, that's not right. It's Samjang. And I go, okay, Samjang. And they go, no, no, that's not it. Then I go, Samjang. And they go, perfect. You got it. <laughs> and then I go, Samjang. And they go, no, nope, you lost it again. And I'm like, I've said it the same way four times in a row. And you expect me to believe that... I'm, I'm, I'm learning something here. Anyway, that's going to do it for Pacific Drive for now. Interesting game. Demo uh, out now on Steam as of February the 5th, which is today.